Do you want to learn how to create a rush to workspace in just a couple of minutes? Then stay with me. This video is for you. Hello Rush developers and welcome to the Rush 2 tutorials video series. If you want to learn anything about Rush, this is your channel. Rush navigation, Rush with drones, Rush for autonomous cars, everything Rush is here. Learn Rush step by step and push your Rush learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to learn how to create a Rush 2 workspace. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online ac academy where you will find practical online Rush courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now, yes, let's go for, uh, with the video. So, as always, let's start going to ROSDS. And we are going to create a new ROSJECT, as we have been doing through the world series. So, let's come here and create a new ROSJECT. We are going to name it ROS2 Workspaces, for instance, and select the ROS2 Crystal Configuration. So we create our project and we open it. And then we'll wait uh, a few moments until the world environment loads. Okay, excellent. So here we are. And yeah, as always, let's close the notebook. In this case, let's open a shell. And I'm going to open as well the IDE in order to show a little bit the distribution of this, of this uh, project when you open a ROS2 project. <clears throat> so yeah, as you can see, here uh, we have many workspaces, Catkin workspace, the datasets workspace, notebooks workspace, ROS2 workspace and simulation workspace. So basically, let's focus on, on Catkin Workspace and ROS2 Workspace. The Catkin Workspace is a workspace where you uh, can put your ROS1 packages. In this case, uh, it will be with ROS Melodic. Yeah? This AMI contains uh, ROS2 Crystal and ROS Melodic. So for, the, uh, for ROS1, it will be using a ROS Melodic and you should put your ROS1 packages, if you create any, into the Catkin Workspace. And then you also have a ROS2 Workspace, of course, already created for you uh, in case that you want to 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 place your packages here that's per perfectly fine but today we are going to create another workspace to show how it's done it's very simple you'll see uh, but just the so that you know that you already have a ROS2 workspace created for you here yeah then in order to create a ROS2 workspace it's very simple all you have to do is to create a directory uh, you can name it uh, as you want. Let's uh, my ROS2 workspace with an SRC directory. Yeah. Then here now we will see our uh, my ROS2 workspace. Also, uh, we can see it right here, my ROS2 workspace. So now we are going to go there inside. And here we just have this SRC folder. So at this point, what we should do here is to build our workspace. So now we have created the directories, but now we have to build our our workspace. And this is done using the colcon tool and the uh, colcon build uh, command. Yeah. So this will build our workspace. Uh, in this case, we don't have any package right now in our workspace. So as you can see, it has not compiled any package. Uh, but this will generate, you'll see, this has generated uh, build, install, and lock uh, folders, yeah? Probably in another, in another episode of this series, we are going to explain a little bit more about this Colcom build command and options you have with this command and how to compile and more details about all this. But for now, just uh, you have to know that your workspace now is built, and now uh, you should source it. 
and how you source it if you come if you look here into the install folder you will see that you have the local setup bash and the setup uh, bash along with other alongside with other extensions but yeah basically you will be using the local setup bash and the setup bash yeah then the local setup bash what we'll do is to source this current workspace you are on the my rush 2 workspace yeah and the setup bash will source this workspace and uh, other child workspace that you could have inside this one in this case we just have created one so by sourcing the local setup bash would be enough so we can do source install local setup dot bash yeah so now we can create our packages here and compile them and then source this workspace using the local setup bash and we will be able to execute them use them etc yeah so yeah that's all for the for today basically this is how you create a ROS2 workspace as you've seen is very very simple and yeah if you like the video please remember to give us a like subscribe to our channel we are publishing new videos every day and yeah see you in the next video goodbye